What is up, YouTube? Yeah, I know I haven't made a tutorial in a really long time, <clears throat> and I apologize for that. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Um, I was going to post this tutorial, like, a couple days ago, like, during spring break, but I didn't because my YouTube money came in, in during spring break, so I was, I was spending it. Um, but anyway, I'm bringing you this tutorial now, after spring break. Um, I want to show you guys today how to speed up the browsing with Firefox 4.0. This works with all operating systems. The whole trick in speeding up your Firefox is moving. We got well, what we got to do is move our Firefox cache, it's cache, whatever you want to call it, from our hard drive to your RAM. Little note here: if you have an older machine with less RAM, this small tut isn't gonna isn't for you. But you can always try it out at your own risk. Okay, first what you're going to want to do is you want to open a new empty tab. And you're going to want to type in about colon config. Now what you're going to want to type in in the filter bar right here is browser dot cache it. Now, locate this entry which is called browser.cacheit.disk.enable browser.cacheit.disk.enable now you want to double click on that and what that will do is set the value from true to false now make sure this one which is browser.cacheit or no browser.cacheit which one is it uh, I can't even find anymore Oh, it's here it is browser .cache memory enable make sure that is set to true if it's not already mine already came as true but just to make sure if it's not set it to true by double clicking on it all right so now what you want to do is you're going to want to create a new entry so you're going to want to right click and go to new and then you want to click on i think it's enter integer Okay, now what you're going to want to type in is browser dot cache it dot memory dot capacity and just click OK. And then uh, this one's going to pop out. Now you're going to want to change the value to negative 1 and hit enter or okay and there you go now what you're gonna wanna do is just close your Firefox and open it back up and there I hope you like the results um, if you already saw that that there was a sort of a change uh, when I first opened it to now that I open it um, yeah there was a really big change it's a bit more faster, but it's not going to be a bit faster for me because, you know, I'm running a lot of crap right now. But if this helped you, please like this video. I want everyone to like the crap out of this video. Let's see how many likes I can get. Um, <clears throat> if this helped you a lot, I thank you. Or, yeah. <laughs> but if it didn't, I apologize. Um, but it's most likely would work. So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And a new tutorial is coming to you really soon.